Yes, for patients who do need to leave the house, we're telling them to really restrict it to once a week for essential items only. And when they do go out, they should uh, really take very, very strict social distancing precautions. And that means if they're at the grocery store, they really should be staying back from other people when they're encountering them in the aisles, for example, keeping their distance of six feet when they're waiting for an item and then wait, letting other people sort of clear out of the aisle before they get their own items. And there are other alternatives. So I'm encouraging my patients to look into things like delivery or curbside pickup for both restaurants and groceries, or even asking a healthy family member or a friend or a neighbor to help so that they can stay home as much as possible. In terms of wearing masks and gloves, we're getting that question a lot from our patients. For the general population, masks are not really that protective. And for ca cancer patients, it varies. So our patients who are immunocompromised due to therapy, it's probably best that they wear a surgical mask, just a plain surgical mask, uh, if they have any respiratory symptoms or if they're going to be in public. For others, uh, gloves not necessarily are that protective. It's really just hand hygiene, and that's washing with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. This virus is very susceptible to soap and water. So if you're coming into contact with any surfaces in public places like grocery shopping, I would really encourage people to really wash their hands well.